A batting helmet is the protective headgear worn by batters in a game of baseball or softball. In this quick video, we will look at the full evolution of batting helmet from the year 1905 to 2021, so ensure to watch to the end of this video. Also, kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are new here to help this channel grow. The history and evolution of batting helmet all started in 1905. In 1905, Moggridge created the first crude protective headgear. He was granted patent number for a head protector. This first attempt at a batting helmet was said to look like an inflatable boxing glove that wrapped around the hitter's head. It was sold for $5. In the year 1908, a leather batting helmet was introduced. Roger Bresnahan, Hall of Fame catcher who was injured after being struck in the head with a pitch. He developed a leather batting helmet in 1908, which he began using. In August 17, 1920, Ray Chapman was hit in the head and killed. The ball was pitched by Yankees pitcher Carl Mays. This shocks the baseball world but, though there are some calls to fix the problem somehow. That year, a syndicated news article claimed several baseball executives were trying to mandate the use of batting helmet. Later on in 1937, we had he first teams to test helmets. Only one week after Cochran's injury, on June 1, 1937, the Cleveland Indians and Philadelphia Athletics became the first teams to test helmets, using leather and polo helmets respectively. In 1941, the National League adopted the use of a helmet. As of this time, the adopted helmet was designed by George Bennett, who is a Johns Hopkins University brain surgeon. The helmet was for use by all teams in spring training. In 1953, a new type of plastic protective cap was introduced. On May 5, 1953, the Ottawa Citizen mentions that major league clubs are becoming quite interested in a new type of plastic protective cap, which has been put on the market recently. On 1960, we had the first player to wear the new Little League helmet in a major league. Jim Lemon was the name of this player. These helmets were made with ear flaps on both sides and were capable of withstanding a ball traveling at up to 120 miles per hour. One month later, Jimmy Pearsall became the second player to wear the helmet in the major leagues. During the 1970 season, Robert Crow introduced the sea flap. Robert Crow was a plastic and reconstructive surgeon working for the Atlanta Braves in the 1970s, when he invented a device that could protect players who were coming back from facial injury. In 1979, non C-flap batting helmet came into place. Notable players to utilize non C-flap modified batting helmet include Gary Ronicky, Ellis Valentine, Charlie Hayes, and Otis Nixon. Later on in July 11, 2006, Rawlings introduced the Coolflow helmet with vents. Rawlings Coolflow technology, first introduced in 2006, forever revolutionized batting helmet protection with its state-of-the-art venting system and sleek, aerodynamic look. In 2007, there was a debate as to whether base coaches should wear helmets. This was following the 2007 death of Tulsa Drillers first base coach Mike Coolbaugh after being hit by a batted ball. Also, following the incident, the Oakland Athletics' Rene Lackerman decided to wear a helmet out to his third base coaching position. In 2008, after the 2007 season, coaches started to wear helmets. Major League Baseball made it mandatory for coaches to wear helmets beginning with the 2008 season, although some coaches, such as the Los Angeles Dodgers' Larry Boa, have disagreed with the decision. In 2013, we had the new Rawlings S100 Pro Comp. In the year 2018, Major League Baseball players began wearing the C-flap. 
Here several Major League Baseball players including Mike Trout and Bryce Harper began wearing the C-flap, an attachment to the ear flap covering the jaw, invented by Marquardt. The C-flap has caught on quickly throughout Major League Baseball. In 2021, we have different variations of modern batting helmets. As of now, we now see different batting helmet brands like Easton, Rawlings, EvoShield and many more. Batting helmets have evolved over the years, featuring modern designs for improved performance, high-impact padding and ventilation for breathability. Finally, we have gotten to the end of this video. If you found value in this video, kindly like this video and share it with your friends. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you will receive our videos immediately we upload. Thanks for watching.